Welcome back to Behind the Box. Today, you've probably already noticed based on the camera angle and the title of the video, this is something a little different. This is going to be a let's play of the game Escape the Dark Castle by Themeborn. Now, we did a review of this a couple of months ago after we picked it up at the UK Games Expo because we just loved it so much. And we thought, you know what, this is a pretty good tester game to check and see settings for cameras and angles and lighting and things like that. So bear with us because it's <laughs> not going to be perfect, probably not even great or very good because we're using a webcam to record this and then our actual camera is going to be here looking at the table so you'll be able to see all of the stuff we've got set up. So this is going to be a dice tray that we're going to be rolling our dice into. These are our characters and this is the dungeon we need to work through. We'll do our best to try and keep things in focus and to cut to the right cameras at the right time. Um, but we probably won't nail it every time. <laughs> um, a quick overview for you for the game, if you're not familiar. So this game is a kind of a dungeon crawl game, like um, more video game-like than dungeon crawls like Imperial Assault and Descent. So we're going to be working together. I'm playing as the cook and Lindsay's playing as the tanner. And we need to make it through all 15 of these cards and then eventually face the boss that is at the bottom of this deck. We'll do that by overcoming challenges and obstacles using our dice. Now, as the cook, I have a lot of might. Yeah, let's put, yeah. see that a little bit better. So this here means might, the one at the top, that's the fist, means my dice is unique to me, has more fists than anything else. Then I have uh, cunning, which is the eyeball. So I have moderate cunning and then wisdom, I'm not wise at all. So I only have one side of my dice that is uh, is wisdom. But Whereas that's Lindsay's, okay. Yeah. Because I'm the tanner, and I have a lot of wisdom, so I can roll. I'm more likely to roll wisdom mm -hmm. on here. I do have some cunning, just like Chris does, so I can roll that too. Um, not very good with might. I think there's only one. One side of my dice has might on it. Yeah, and then I make up for that might, in theory. Obviously, it's a dice rolling game. It's very push your luck. So it's possible we'll just get really screwed over. Neither of us will roll might at the most required time. Now, we have 18 HP. We'll be keeping track of that on these little pieces of paper and uh, pencil. Um, everything in this deck pretty much is bad and does damage to us. We'll explain the cards as we go through them. Um, it's it's narrative, it, you build your own little story, and you just try and make it as far as you can. It's a hard game. We're playing with the expansion, the Cult of the Death Knight, so it's possible we'll see cards in here from that, possibly even the boss. We don't know. We've randomized it completely. The items that we get, so this is a deck of item cards. We've not put the curses from that expansion into here, if you're familiar with how that all works. If not, don't worry about it. You won't be missing anything. <laughs> so I think we just get started. I, I think it's important to note that the person that opens the door, if you will, the person that reveals the card, they take the potential consequence that exists on that card. So we have to announce beforehand who will be opening the door. And so when we do that, that person will be the one that reads the little bit of narrative and story. And then we'll make decisions as a team with the revealer being the ultimate decider if we can't come to a decision. There we go. Would you like to reveal the first card for us, Lindsay? Okay. Right. So we turn this over to begin. It's telling us, after years of incarceration in the depths of the dark castle, you finally break free of your cell. In a small stone room adjoining the cell block stands an old wooden chest. The lock is open. Draw an item card per player now. So, so that's I'll the first thing one. we do. So yeah, this is, it's a communal pool. So if, if what I've drawn is better for Lindsay, we can just swap that. So let's take a quick look at the items that we've been given. So I have liquid luck here. And I got a partially rotten apple. So liquid luck allows you to discard to re-roll your character dice, applying only the second result. This being the character dice. So that's quite handy. If you really need to get a roll on a certain turn mm -hmm. and then the partially rotten apple you can discard it to restore one hp to your character so i can get rid of it if i'm holding on to it to restore one health 
or I can give it to Lindsay and she could do the same thing. Mm -hmm. We can't go above the starting HP of 18. So I'm just going to keep my liquid luck here. Yeah, I'll keep my apple next to me. We can swap these. As long as we're not in combat, we can swap these whenever we want. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got our item cards. Um, you hear footsteps approaching. You must not linger here. You make for the exit, slipping away and disappearing into the darkness. Turn the first chapter card now. So Lindsay is going to be revealing the first chapter card. Um, do you, should we put that there? Yeah, let's put those okay. next to me. All right, here we go. Opening the next door. Ah! <laughs> scary, scary guy with a giant... A, a lot of the artwork <laughs> is very intensely gruesome and creepy. Um, you can tell from this symbol that it comes from that um, special cult. Yeah, the um, expansion. That's one of the expansion cards. There's certain, a mechanic in there that exists, but it won't come into well, play yeah, for us. Yeah, don't need to worry about that right now. This chamber carries an unnatural echo. You hear deranged chattering all around you. Scanning the darkness, you catch sight of your attacker at the last moment. So, when it says you, that means me. So I must, you revealed the card. Yeah, so I must try and roll cunning or a double in one attempt. If I succeed, then I narrowly evade the cultist strike and begin combat. If I fail, then his club strikes my brow and I'm thrown to the ground and I lose 2 HP. Begin combat. So we should mention as well, on two sides of your dice, there is a doubles. This counts as doubles of that symbol and it also shields you from damage. Unless the card specifies that these don't work, you don't take any damage that you might otherwise take. And usually you'll have so you have four, like for me, I have four might, one and two are just singles, and then the other two are doubles with a shield, and then my cunning is a double and a one, because that's my middle, and that'll be the same for Lindsay, but with wisdom. Okay. So, so she has to do this. She, she can't back out of trying this. So we got to roll cunning. Okay, so interestingly, I got, double. <laughs> I got doubles and cunning. <laughs> All right, so success. So I narrowly evade the cultist strike, but we still need to begin combat. So at the bottom here, this is how we determine what dice he will be using as his uh, objective for us to have to meet. So he starts with one might, no matter what. So we take one of these black dice and we'll just put it there, I suppose. And then this is the amount of players. So Lindsay now has to take two dice and roll those. So roll them into the dice. Cunning. So let's just- No wisdom. Oh, wisdom, sorry, yeah. <laughs> okay. So what we now need to do is simultaneously roll our dice into this tray. For everything that we match on, we clear one of them away. But if we don't defeat him this round, we both will lose one damage because in the bottom right corner, that shows how much damage he does. And in this case, it's one. So not very much, but like we said, it's a push your luck dice rolling game and it could go horribly wrong. So let's <laughs> give it a try. You ready? Yeah. Oops. All right, so I got one of the wisdom that we needed. I got cunning. No. Oh, uh, sorry. What am I doing? I got, you got might. I did get cunning. You got cunning, that's might. <laughs> so that's nothing. But I don't take any damage because I rolled a, sh a shield. double shield. Yeah. So Lindsay will lose one HP. So we'll get rid of this dice. So put your health down by one. And let's roll again. I'll re-roll it into there. Dice oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the first time we've been using this. Now, interestingly, we both, like this is my dice. This is my worst possible roll to and do. And mine, my worst. And we managed to do it. So we, we both couldn't do our own, but we did each other. So that succeeds this guy. Neither of us take any damage because we have defeated him this round. So we now get to draw an item card for defeating an enemy. So Lindsay, would you like to draw an item card? Okay. So our item, oh look, more liquid luck. Why I, don't you take that? I think I'll take the liquid luck. We're allowed two, um, two items each. Yeah, we can have two items each, unless the card itself is a two-handed item. Mm -hmm. I'll proceed just because I've got an apple and you've already taken the damage. Yeah, okay. So it's not a big deal. So, the smell of incense is strong in this chamber. As you step over the pile of bones that litter the floor, your limbs begin to feel heavy and your vision swims. To resist the effects of the incense, each player must try to roll a double in one attempt. 
Um, I'll go first, just okay. so we're not clashing with each other, and I can try and make sure I get it in here. <laughs> so I rolled a wisdom. So a failure for me means that I feel deep bliss, but begin to stagger and sway. Your arms drop to your sides, lose one HP or <gasps> discard an item, uh, okay. then make another attempt. If you've not succeeded after three attempts, you make it to the exit dazed and disoriented. So do you want to resolve yours first? Before yeah, I let's go? do mine first. So I'll lose one HP for now, only because if I get rid of an item, it'd be the apple, which would be one HP anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'll try again. I can't believe I've rolled wisdom three times in a row. <laughs> okay, I suppose I will get rid of my apple. Oh, you know what? No, I won't. I'm going to go down to 16. Like I said, we start on 18 HP. So this is my last attempt, because it's after three attempts. Okay. Okay, so you got a double. So I was able to do it on my final attempt, which means I don't lose a third health. Okay, right, so I'll try now. No double there. So you'd be on 16? Yep. Unless you want to get rid of your item. No. Okay. Okay. No, 15? This might be the last roll, uh, health-wise, anyway, for you. Okay, no. so you lose a, another health. So you go down to 14. Would you like to eat my rotten apple? Uh, yes, please. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to discard this. I'm going to give it to Lindsay first. She can then discard it, and she goes back up to 15. And this is now gone. Would you like me to go again? Yeah. Just because I'm just slightly healthier? <laughs> okay. All right, so this chamber is flanked by caves and littered with gnawed bones. A guttural growl rings out as something emerges. As a group, choose one option and then begin combat. So this is interesting because we now have two ways we can fight. We can choose to tackle the beast head on. We'll only have to take care of two dice, but it will do three damage every round. Or we can try and use hit and run tactics. We'll have to defeat five dice and we'll take two damage each round i think it's quite clear that we go for the first option yeah <laughs> it might backfire but only doing two dice and we both have liquid luck i'm feeling pretty good about that so it's just two black dice for him now these are random so we, we might get unlucky and get stuff that we're not good at too cunning too cunning we both can do cunning isn't that bad i'm just gonna place these here that's a good idea. <laughs> so two cunning we've got to deal with. Let's roll our dice. Okay. You wanna do it together? All right. What? <laughs> I'm gonna use my liquid look. I don't wanna take three damage. I'll do it too. And that is just unlikely that I was gonna have rolled that. So this, even though we're both rolling again, isn't the next round. We've both used our liquid look, so we have no items left. Oops. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Uh, wisdom again. No. Oh, okay, this is going really well. So, <laughs> so we both were down to 13. Now, there's a mechanic in this game called resting, where we can choose for somebody to not be involved in this round of combat and instead regain one health. Do you think it is worth you trying that this round? Because it's possible I'll roll double, double cunning. Or should we just both try and take care of this? I kind of want to just... Just deal with it? Yeah. Okay, let's go for it. This could be really bad. Oh, you've got a roll because you said you were going for it. So what's happened there is <laughs> if we'd have done what I said, which I don't think necessarily was the right thing, it would have worked out perfectly. So we do manage to take care of it because I rolled two cunning and that was what we needed, which defeats the monster. Neither of us take any damage because it's the end of the round and we get an item card. Now hopefully this is health. Uh, it is. Brilliant. Do you want to take that stale loaf of bread and eat it immediately to get two health back? And I could go back up to 14. 14. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just going to immediately get rid of it. It's nice how you're providing for me yeah. here in this dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to lead the way this time? Because sure. you're slightly yeah. healthier than I am. Yeah, I'll go. All right. So we got this guy with his chain. You are getting ambushed by crazy people. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> As you pass a heavy wooden door, it flies open and a ragged man, madman bursts through. He wields his shackles as a weapon and his crazed stare sends a clear message. You stand between him and freedom. 
So I oh. have to try and roll might. <laughs> I'm not very good at doing that. Or a double. Or a double, yeah, in one attempt. So if I succeed, I manage to deflect his wild flailing uh, and begin combat. Either way, we're gonna have combat here. Um, yeah. So let's let's see what uh, what I can do. Hopefully, I get a double. Ah, no, no, I just seem to only ever roll wisdom. So you take two damage immediately because <laughs> yeah. you are smashed aside, lose two HP, and begin combat. So he will start with a cunning and a might, and then you need to roll two additional dice to okay. determine. So there's going to be four dice we have to defeat, and he does two damage every round. Okay, so some more might. That's fun. Okay, so I'll lots put those of might right there. I'd say let's both go for this first round and then you should probably just rest for the rest of it. Okay. So let's give it a shot. Nice roll. Okay, that was what I wanted to get. <laughs> hey! Okay. <laughs> right, so we've been able to do three of the three mites. That's great. So that's all gone instantly. So it's just cunning left. I don't take any damage because of my doubles. You, I'll however, take... take two. Yeah. Would okay. you like to rest? Yep. And I will try and take care of this yep. final cunning. So I'm going to put myself up to 11. Yeah, you regain one HP for every round you rest. So that's what Lindsay's doing now while I fight. Did hey! it. Okay. That went a lot smoother than before. So we get an item card as well. Okay. So we've got the effervescent evasion potion. This is a potion. It's an over-consumable. So when you would take damage, discard to avoid that damage. You should take hold of that. Um, this is a really good card because some things like you saw before will do three damage to you. Three is kind of the maximum you'll take. So being able to stop that is really nice. Would you like me to lead the way? Might be a good idea, Slightly yeah. More HP, yeah. So, there is a deafening roar and the passageway begins to shake. A section of the old wall beside you collapses and you are buried beneath chunks of heavy stone. So, in this case, you, which is me, yep. <laughs> I'm incapacitated. I'm going to have to roll my dice. Yeah, so to remove the rubble <laughs> crushing me, the other players must roll in unison, keeping track of any might rolled until they've rolled a total might equal to the number of players. After each attempt, I lose one HP until the total is reached. you got three attempts. Yay! So, there you go. Okay. So you need to roll might twice. Well, let's see. Nope. No, so that's one damage. So I'm down to 12. No. Nope. No, I'm on 11. This is the last one. You definitely can't do it anyway. Yeah. So because you don't have a double might on your dice, there's no way you could have done that on the last roll. So I just lost three HP. And just as a quick rules side note, this would only work on one of those points of damage. So even though I took three overall, it was three lots of one. So you can't use your effervescent potion on that, unfortunately. Would you mind leading the way with yeah. slightly more HP <laughs> and a potion that protects you? <laughs> All right. So we have this uh, dodgy person here. Bringing his cart to a halt beside you, an intriguing stranger insists you sample his latest brew. Aren't we in like a dungeon? I feel there's like yeah, there's probably what a little. What is he doing? Dragging a cart? Um, a healing elixir, he claims. A spiked club dangles from his belt, and keen as you are to move on, you feel it would be unwise to refuse. How bad can it be? So I have to choose one option. So I can take a sip. The man smiles and rewards you. Draw an item card. Take a long draw. Try and roll might. Oh, I don't really feel <laughs> like I could do that. <laughs> If I succeed, then, oh, geez. Yeah. That would be a really good thing for me to have done. Yeah. But because it says you must choose, uh, yeah. you're the one that does this. So I think I'll just take a sip um, and get an item card. Because That's probably a good I idea. really don't think like I can. Yeah. So let's see what we get. Hey, effervescent evasion. Do you want me to take do that? Do you want it? Yeah. May as well. Yeah. We're both uh, doubling up on these potions. That makes a lot of sense, considering who we just spoke with. I think that is actually the artwork as well. Well, shall I try again? Yeah, you go for it again. You're still slightly higher than I am in health. Okay. So, this part of the castle is a perplexing maze of narrow, musty passageways, each darker than the last. 
To navigate the labyrinth, all players must roll in unison, keeping track of any wisdom rolled until they have rolled a total track. Oh, a total wisdom <laughs> equal to the number of players. Started reading above it. Uh, oh, so this will be good for me, but not so much for you. Yeah, after, this will be mostly you doing this. Yeah, after each attempt, if the total has not been reached, all players lose 1 HP from exhaustion and must try again. If the total has not been reached after three attempts, the correct passage is found by chance and all players escape the maze. So, okay, so this is going to be pretty much on you to do this, but I have to help you anyway. And we both lose health for every round we've not finished. We've only got to get two. Yeah. So a double wisdom from your dice instantly succeeds. All right, here we go. Got some cunning. So unfortunately, we haven't done this. And the block in this case doesn't come into play. So we both lose one HP. And that was attempt number one. Two more. There's one. There we go. So we succeeded, which means we take no more damage, which is lovely. Do you um, want to do one more and we can see yeah. what happens? Okay. The next door. Several armed figures spring from the shadows and attack. You become separated and each player must fight alone. Ooh, Ooh very interesting. <laughs> So we've got to roll a chapter dice in front of each player to represent the muggers attacking them. However, the muggers want your items and players carrying two roll two chapter dice instead of one. Okay, so luckily we both only have, only have one item. That's fine. Okay, so we're going to begin combat. So the combat special here is each time a player would take damage from a mugger, they may avoid it by discarding an item. No player can rest until the muggers attacking them are defeated. They may then help another player defeat theirs. A player aiding another takes damage as normal and must declare who they are aiding before they roll. So let's first roll our individual our muggers. muggers. So roll yours first, see what you're up against. Cunning, wisdom. that is perfect. Uh, wisdom, I don't know, I'm getting <laughs> that wrong. Perfect for you. Hopefully this one's might. No, oh, not no. very good. So I have to take care of a wise mugger and so do you but you are capable of dealing with that hopefully i defeat mine and then i can come help you that would yeah probably be what's going to happen mm. so let's roll I, I guess just in unison into the into yep. the box so i got mine okay wonderful so You've you got yours and i at least defended so you don't so take any damage done. and neither do i because of this you can actually choose to rest if you like because you can now you can now do that because you're not against the mugger. The problem is I'm going to start taking damage. Yeah, that uh, I'd rather help you. Yeah, let's get it. this guy just taken care of. Oh, wow. Again, weird well, dice <laughs> rolls. But you know what? We've taken care of him and neither of us took any damage. So we just get an item card. All right. Look at that. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> so I guess we need to start using these. Um, I feel like... Do you like it? No, I think... You should take it and then do the next door. And then if it's damage, just use one of your potions. Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay. So crazy skull guy. Hurrying into this candlelit chamber, you interrupt a sacrificial ceremony. A robed man in a death mask declares that you too must now be sacrificed. Begin combat. So combat special. I am overcome with fear. Any doubles that I roll this chapter count as singles and I can't block. So that's, so that's yeah, one an interesting unique rule. So we need to start with a cunning and a wisdom for these cultists and then two more dice. Would you like to do the honors? Sure. Okay, so another cunning and another wisdom. I'm pretty useless in this fight except for that cunning. Do you want to rest for the first round no I, i'm thinking i'm gonna roll okay see what happens maybe use my potion if i need to and then possibly start resting okay so i think first round was safe enough to go so let's do this hey i got two wisdom and i got a cunning that's pretty good so, so I, that's two wisdom gone and a cunning gone i will use my potion to not take the two damage and you blocked the two damage anyway 
And now, if you're okay possibly taking care of that, I think I will rest to go yep. to 10. Okay, here we go. Uh, might. But I could just discard this. So I think that's not a bad that. idea. And then I'll try again. Do yep. you want to rest again? I will rest one more time, okay. so I go now up to 11. Nope, just really wise and full of might today. Do you want to take the damage on this one, maybe, or...? Yeah, I'd like to keep this just in case something really bad comes out later. So you lose so. two. Let's both now fight. Okay. Okay, we block, so <laughs> doesn't nothing happens. Just a non, a non round. Oops. Oh well, you you got it. Yeah. Cool. Nice. So it's taken care of, which means we get an item card. All right. So our item card is more liquid luck. Cool. I'll take it just because I don't have yeah. anything. So liquid look for me, which means that we both now only have one item. I'll proceed just because I can reroll if we get something bad mm -hmm. and I'm on a little bit more health than you are now. We're about halfway through, I think. Okay, this is a nice one. You pass through a chamber which serves as a cesspit below the castle privies. As you pick your way through the filth, something unusual catches your eye. Draw an item card. <laughs> Elixir of Insight, so you can discard this before any round of combat to change any one chapter dice to show a trait of your choice. So these black dice that we've been showing when we've had to do combat, we can change one of these to be something that we would prefer to have. That's really helpful. I don't think it matters who holds that. Nah. So I like that card a lot. I'll just go again then, just because sure. I'm still a little healthier. Oh, wow. Okay. I promise <laughs> this was not set up. But you follow a dark, winding passageway to where it opens into a vast, cave-like chamber. A chapel has been carved into the rock, and a twinkle of light catches your eye. Stepping cautiously inside, you find an ornate altar upon which is laid a larger silver dish. An offering has been placed inside it. Ooh. Draw an item card. Okay. So that's why I said not set this up. <laughs> this has been completely this is handy, randomized. Though. <laughs> the Fury Shards. This is a cool uh, thing. This is a relic. Once per round of combat, when you roll a double, you may roll again and apply both results. That is really, really good. Um, I think you just take it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I don't think it's only during combat. So when we have to do the uh, obstacles and things like that, we've got to roll might three, you know, before three attempts. Doesn't apply then. It's only when we're fighting. Are you okay if I just proceed again? Yeah, sure. I'm just conscious of your health. Okay. So, oh gosh, okay. So I'm knocked unconscious and dragged down a side passage. I awake strapped to a table where a man in filthy in a filthy apron is scraping rust from a jagged blade. You are to be a test subject for the castle's torturer. So I need to endure the pain until my absence is noted <laughs> and I'm rescued. So I roll my character dice five times. For each roll that is not might or a double, lose one HP. So this is actually a perfect yeah, thing for me. Yeah, thank goodness it's not me. Would you mind keeping track of the amount of attempts that I'm doing for me? Yeah, so we can roll the character dice five times. Yeah, so first one, so that's one point of damage. I'm just going to keep track and then I'll reduce it all at the end. So that's one. That's two. I'm considering using liquid look. It's up to you. Do you want to give it a go? Uh, yeah, I will. Okay. So this is still attempt number two. Nope. Okay, it's still two damage on two attempts. This is three. Okay, so that's not a damage. Four. Not a damage. Five. Three points of damage. So I go from 11 down to eight. Okay. Oh, that, uh, that was some torturous... Session. Yeah, I couldn't <laughs> handle it very well. I could handle it less than 50%. Or it just took time. me a really long time to notice that you yeah. were gone. <laughs> I think that was probably it. <laughs> this Tanner isn't as wise as we thought she'd be. <laughs> All right. Um, shall I go? We're both on eight, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, you have the Evervescent potion, though. though. So I think, I think yeah, if you yeah. go. We're only uh, a couple of cards away from a boss. So. Uh, okay, so... You oh, ascend gosh. a narrow spiral staircase, emerging onto a windswept bell tower. As you cross the tower, the bell swings into life. 
It's Dreary Peel shaking your very bones. Any player who cannot roll Wisdom or a double in one attempt loses 2 HP as the sound begins to drive them insane. So we both just roll and we might lose 2 health. Okay. Wisdom <gasps> and Wisdom. Yay! I mean, it was pretty likely you were going to do it. <laughs> Although the way I've been rolling, it was also quite likely that I would roll the <laughs> 1 in 6 chance of my dice as well. So. Oh, we made it through that one. Okay. Yeah. Um, right. Yeah, I'd say you just go again. again. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now we've got this woman gladiator. gladiator. You emerge into a small sandy arena. In the center, a woman far taller and more muscular than yourself raises her well-worn blade and calls out, challengers, prepare to die. Begin combat. So she has a combat special. Before each round of combat, nominate one player to fight the arena champion. Only that player rolls, only that player takes damage. Uh, so I have to fight the first round and no player can rest. Yeah, this is really cool. So she starts with one of each dice type plus two additional chapter dice for the amount of players. So a might and a cunning. So this will probably be a lot of me having to take care of stuff. But she only does one damage per round. Not that bad, but it can get pretty dicey. But you have to go first. So yeah, I'm the, the nominated champion this mm -hmm. round. And don't forget, you've got that relic as well. Oh yeah, so once per round of combat, when I roll a double, I can roll again and apply both results. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... Might. I think maybe you just try again, and I know okay. you've just... So that's one damage, so go down to seven HP as well. Oh, sorry, yeah. I'm a little too enthusiastic about rolling this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, okay. So I've got the wisdom. And so you get to roll I again. Take that. I'm defended, so I won't get hurt this round. Yep. Plus, because of my shard, I can roll again and apply that too. So might again. Great. So get that over there. This Tanner, what is with this? I don't know. All right. This cook's so, much more wise than she let on as well. Uh, we've got two cunning left. Um, I could go again. Um, yeah, just because if you roll a double wisdom, uh, you yeah, can try cunning as well. You don't have that. Yeah, All we're right. both just as likely to roll the cunning, but you can get that reroll. Well, I don't have it that time. Oh, perfect. There it is. So wow. both. Really, really well handled. So draw an item card. Let's see what uh, rewards we get for defeating that gladiator. You know, that's very fitting that we would have a shield when we're fighting a gladiator. Yeah, so quick side note about this game. It so frequently gives you a story from a randomly put together 15 card deck. Like, I feel like this has been, there's been a few recurring themes. <laughs> and yeah, fighting a gladiator right before the end, like we're pretty much to the boss. That makes sense. That would be one of the last things you'd have to do. Mm -hmm. And that's a great reward. Um... Would you like that? Yeah. Ooh, Although you're I'm on a six. six. Do you want to take the fury shard? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll. You take the shield. So we should mention the shield. Whenever you take damage, you reduce that amount by one down to a minimum of one. I'm thinking though, because you won't have the shield, maybe you should take this potion. That's a good idea too. Yeah. And if I take the shield. Yeah. And then do you want? Keep both of them. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Because I'll probably end up using this elixir this round anyway. Well, then maybe I should open the next door because I have that shield. You're only on six HP though. Mm. I'm on eight. I can take a little bit more than that, okay. and I can block all of it, whereas you can block one. Okay. Okay. I don't know. We'll we'll see. I'll, I'll just go. Yeah, give it a go. We should mention the loss condition is if either of us reach zero HP, we both lose. So, I'm that, guessing we're like chained together or something. That so would make like sense. If one or person can't escape, the other. You one. and I have grown so close over this adventure that your passing destroys me mentally, and my motivation and desire to exit yeah. is gone. Our souls are bound. Yeah. So. Second to last card. Okay. Ah. Here a man sits at a table, his face shrouded in shadows. As you edge past, he lurches forward and pulls you close with a snarl, revealing his scarred face and rancid intentions. As a group, choose one option. So we can flee. 
So we can st I can struggle free and get away, but not before I lose three health at the hands of the putrid captain. Or we can begin combat. So we'd have to fight him and he does two damage each round. So there is an argument to be made for fighting him because we'll get the item afterwards. Yeah. But we both already have two items. And we don't know what the two chapter dice will be that we roll. We're quite strong against what he starts with. And we'll get an item card and possibly neither of us will lose any health. Now your potion, hold on a minute, when you would take... That's the other thing, if we flee, I can just not take three damage. And But then we go into the boss without the Yeah, and you don't have that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean... I think we flee and use the potion to try and have as much health as possible. Because the item card that we get, if it's a healing, might give you two health, possibly. Okay. You know, that's best case scenario. But even if you take even just one hit from this guy, yeah, it's negated. So, All right, so we flee and let's you flee. use your potion. Whenever you would take damage, discard to avoid that damage. This doesn't have to be done just in combat. This can be choices like that. So here we have it, the final boss. I think you should reveal it, but the back of it, it's cool, nice door. It looks really good. You don't read it until you've completed the last chapter card, which we've just done. This is it. You've reached the final challenge. One last obstacle stands between you and freedom. Turn over now. All right, so I'll be opening the door. Yeah. Oh, so a demented priestess. You cannot harm me. Behold the devotion of my followers. The priestess is protected by her possessed underlings. The row of chapter dice showing might. All of these dice must be removed before you are able to attack the priestess herself. The dice behind the row of might begin combat. So this picture kind of helps us understand. So she's represented by a wisdom and then two dice that will roll to um, represent that. But then she's got little minions. Um, all of them might. So it's going to be three might. Is it one wisdom? And then do you want to roll those two dice? Sure. So the reason that we still picked who was going to go first is because it's still quite likely that you'll get a boss that affects one person directly. So we can put, let's put these like right here because that's still on view. So yeah. there's the three might for her minions and then we'll be able to hit her once we defeat the minions. I am kind of thinking that I use the elixir of insight, okay, to change this might into a wisdom because she hits for three damage i think i should try and take care of this while you heal right and then you try and take care of these okay okay i think that is the best chance we have of, of succeeding here i can i can re-roll doubles though so i i mean not that i would get might necessarily okay no yours is a good idea i think does that does that sound yeah, okay yours i'll is try a good and take idea. care of the underlings and while you rest, you'll get to enough health that you can stay in for a few rounds then. I just have to take care of these might. It's a shame you don't have this shield. I think it's not a shame because I'm hoping that I can do this really fast and then you will need the shield. Okay. So we'll see how it All goes. Right. I think so this is the best chance we have. So I will rest and put You go up to seven and I will roll. Seven. Okay. That is not great. So I go down to five HP. Are you sure you don't? I think we got to do it at least one more time. All right, okay, okay. So I'll go up to eight. You go up to eight. I roll. I'm hoping for a double might. You're not feeling very mighty <laughs> right now. <laughs> right. It's because it's you haven't eaten in a really long time. I mean, that's we've just had one it. rotting apple and a loaf of bread. Yeah, that's true. My muscles have been deteriorating. <laughs> Shall I, I join in? I should rest. Okay. Because I'll die otherwise if All I right, stay in. Let's so see. I'll I'll go up to three. Um you just use that Fiori shard. Yeah. <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so that's not a double, so I can't really do anything with that. So you go down to six. Yeah. Oh wait, no. It'll be it's three every time, right? But you have the rock. Oh the shield. shoot, yeah, you're right. Okay. Forgot I have a shield. I think if you try again, I can heal up to four. 
Okay. And then I can come back in next round. Cunning. <laughs> okay. So you go down to four. <laughs> I think I try one more time. Uh huh. To get might. If I can roll a double might, then it means I can stay in the fight. So take your dice out. Just rhymed there. Unintentionally. <laughs> All right. So I need to roll Come on, cook. this side. Uh, no. Oh, I almost <laughs> rolled onto it as well. <laughs> Did you see that? Right. <laughs> I'm on one HP. This is where we have to make a decision. Do I just try for that one in six chance to roll a double might and block damage? Or do you try and heal and I come in and try and But the get problem them up. is if I heal, I'll go up to two, which is still isn't enough. If I mm -hmm. heal again, I go up to three, which still isn't enough. You would need to roll blocks along the way for me to get back up. Basically do we do we think you can block your way through to me I, being I able to get know. back in the fight? I don't know. I mean, if we're thinking about it, you have a two in six chance, or a one in three chance of rolling blocks. I have a the same chance, but I won't make any progress, and I won't be healing. Do you want to heal then, and I'll see what I can do? Yeah, because if I don't do this, then we lose right now. Okay. So I think... Well, then the choice is made. You let us know if this is the move you would make. <laughs> <laughs> we're not very good at this game. <laughs> So let's see. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 So you're not taking any damage. I go up to two. And it's a double, so I can try, try again. Try again. Yeah. Go for it. Try and roll a might if you can. That's no. fine. That's fine. But at least I didn't get hurt, and, and you were I able got to heal. Back. I'll try again. Do that. If we just keep doing that over and over. No. No. So I did get hurt that time. So you're on two HP. Okay. So I'm on three, you're on two. We're at the point now then where we need to decide who out of the two of us is gonna try and make this roll happen. I kind of feel like it should just be me because at least if I do roll a double, which let's face it has not been my MO so far, <laughs> it means that I'm at least a 50-50 chance of making some sort of progress. You know what I mean? If you roll a double, you might get to re-roll and get one of those. I think you need to heal up again. All right. This is probably the end. So let's give it a go. All right, you ready? Yeah. Oh, really? Oh. Oh. Well, you got a might, but... I took one it, of them down with it, me. It that's, a, that's a personal victory. <laughs> you know, at least we made it to the boss. Quite often you die on the way. So that's true and the bosses are really difficult. Yeah. They are yeah. not friendly, which is weird because you'd imagine they should be in this dungeon full of hell. <laughs> but yeah, that that is Escape the Dark Castle. This has been a great game. We have enjoyed it so much. Like I said, we're not very good at it. <laughs> but we've backed the new expansions on the Kickstarter, which I hope you have too if you saw our review. If you've not seen our review, then I'll link to that and there'll probably be a little card so you can check that out. It should be quite clear that we really enjoy this game. We like the narrative that sort of grows. It's kind of fun to have these little trials and stuff that happen along the way. You know, sometimes you really do feel like it is a story that you're reading through. This one was a little bit more disjointed, but I like it when at the very end, the last card feels like a mini boss. Like, yeah. the, like one of the, a crazy big gargoyle monster that does loads of damage. Yeah, And it's yeah. like, that feels like the last little boss guy you've got to get through before you face the real real challenge <laughs> do you have anything else to add no no i i thought that was a pretty good fight um we didn't do super well at the boss but i don't think we've ever beaten this lady before we've not we've never defeated her she's so. really hard yeah it's just it's annoying because i frequently do not roll the thing my character is best no. at it's that. a shame that we didn't have the shared trait you know, like if, if, if we both had a shared, or, yeah. If we were both, yeah, shared at might. Like, could also do might. Yeah. Or if we, there is a weapon in there that allows you to roll an extra dice, that, that would have been helpful if we'd have found that on the journey there. But Yeah, well, that's the thing. We could just redo this whole thing again 
-hmm. and get through it super easy you know we might get better items or different items this you know will just roll better and will block more and we'll get more doubles things like that really do make or break a, a run and i know some people won't enjoy that aspect of the game that it kind of then feels like it comes down to luck but yeah for us that's part of the fun you know and we've done that before we will just restack the deck and just go again um and you do get the advantage of knowing what's coming up but it's still you you, you will see a lot of different things and it'll play out very differently now this has kind of been a celebration video the reason we've done this let's play is because we've just passed our one year mark we missed the actual date which i believe was the 5th of september we checked it before yeah, yeah. so we're about 10 days overdue we just kind of lost track of time and stuff but i really enjoyed doing this this was a bit of a pain to set up and we're still learning all the camera stuff and i think it's a little probably a little blurry on this one especially but we'll keep working on it um because this is fun i enjoy doing this we can play other games small games that fit well within the confines of the camera uh, setup that we can do so yeah if you enjoyed it then let us know and uh let us know if you would have done things differently because we probably made mistakes but oh well it's just a game in it happy so, anniversary honey happy anniversary <laughs> uh mick this is also kind of for you because you've been asking for <laughs> let's plays for a while and i'm glad that we could finally deliver one for you so there we go. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. See ya. Bye. bye. <laughs> we'll just take a quick pause. That really spooked me. I don't know why, but my first thought was a cat has jumped up there. But our cats are made of pillows.